What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over array manipulation. Basically, you start with an array of one index of zeros and a list of operations that you have to add to each element between two indices. So once operations have been performed, return the maximum element. So um, basically, you're given the array of a length n, which is here we have uh, 10 zeros, right? And then these are the queries. So we have one, five, three, four, eight, seven, six, nine, one. So as you can see here, the first two, the first uh, query, the first element of each of these is going to be A, and the second one is going to be B. And A and B represents the uh, the indexes that we have to add. The indexes that we're going through, and we're going to add the element K to it, the third element K to it. So here, as you can see here, we're adding three. In the first case, we have one, five, and three. So when our array starts at all zeros, we're gonna loop through from one to five, and we're gonna add three to all of them. So that's why all the values here are all three. Then from four to eight, we're gonna loop through from four to eight, and we're gonna add seven to all the values. So here from four to eight here, they added seven to all of them. So that's why we have three plus seven, which is gonna give us 10. Three plus seven gives us 10. 0 plus 7 gives us 7, 0 plus 7 gives us 7, 0 plus 7 gives us 7. So now these are all elements we have, right? Now we're going to have 6, 9, and 1. So this is going to loop through from 6 to 9, and we're going to add 1 to all of them. We're going to add a 1. We're going to add 1 to 7, 1 to 7, 1 to 7, 1 to 0. So now in the end, we have 3, 3, 3, 3, 10, 10, 10, 8, 8, 8, 1, and 0. And then what they were asking is, what is the maximum element after all your operations are done? So in this case, 10 is the maximum number out of all these in the end. So they return 10. All right, so now what is our what is it, our um, element supposed to be? All right, what are we supposed to do? Okay, so um, how do you solve this problem? Well, you could implement it like how I just stated, but you're going to get TLE, right? Too long, time determined. Um, so what? here's what you can do, actually. So let's say we have uh, all zeros right here currently, right? And uh, let's just go through each of the queries. So here, let's say we have all zeros. And let's say we're just going to go through each of the queries. So what you can do, the issue why it gets too long determined is because there is a second loop that actually causes it to that causes it to have um, too long. So here, here's a reason why it gets terminated because it's too long. So if you look at here, like if I look at here, all right, and I just try to implement it by itself, I create an array, I look through all my queries, I get my a, b, and k, which is at the zeroth index, one second index. Then I loop through from a to b, right? And add by k. This is the loop that takes the most amount of time, right? Adding by k for between the two indices. So what we can do is we could actually try to get rid of this loop. So how, how would you get rid of this loop? One thing that really matters, remember we're, we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the maximum number after we add k to each of the indices between a and b, right? So what we can do is we could actually just ignore all the values in between and only focus on the endpoints. Like the endpoints between A and B are the only ones that matter. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just only care about the endpoints and then see what that ha what happens. So here um, let's look at this example. We have 1, 5 and 3. So I'm going to go through my array of index of 1 and I'm going to set I'm just add 3 to it. Okay? So instead of adding all the values between 1 and 5 of indexes of 1 to 5, I'm just going to add only care about the endpoints of one and the endpoint of five. So here, the first endpoint is one, so I'm gonna add three to the first value. Now have one, two, three, four, five. Now the second element is uh, five, so I'm gonna add three to the fifth element. So you have one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna add the fifth, fifth element, three to the fifth element. Okay, so now that's one, five, and three. And now we have four, eight, and seven. So we're gonna add seven to the fourth element and seven to the eighth element. So you have one, two, three, four, fourth element. We're gonna add seven. 
and then 7 to the 8th element, so which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Make this a 7. And we have 6, 9, and 1. So we're going to go through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, uh, wait, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I got a 6 here. Actually, not 6. I got a 1 here. And then 9, we're going to go to the ninth element. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Add a 1 here. Okay. So, uh, by the way, careful that in arrays are normally indexed at 0, but in this problem, it's indexed by 1. So, be careful about your arrays. Anyway, okay, so now that we have all these L values here, um, since we're only caring about the maximum sum, the, not, not maximum sum, the maximum number after all these operations are formed, what exactly are these operations doing? Well, for starters, what the operations are doing is that it's adding K every time, uh, adding this K, uh, each of the queries, whenever we're going through it, right? Whatever between A and B. Inclusive. So it's basically just doing a cumulative sum regardless, right? It's going to give you to do a cumulative sum at the end. So what we're basically trying to do is we're trying to eliminate the second, the, this loop, and just have it at the end, right? Um, so if I go to my submissions, we're just going to try to get rid of this loop. This loop, right? Adding all the elements of K between A and B. Right, we're trying to get rid of this, and we're just going to uh, add o care only about the endpoints of A and B. Well, now that I only I am only caring about the endpoints of A and B, how do I get the maximum number at this point? Well, um, the issue here is that trying to get the maximum element at this point is pretty hard because uh, at this point, where if we're trying to just accumulate the sums, we're actually counting twice. Right, so as you can see here, um, we added three twice, and then we added uh, one twice, and we added seven twice. Right, so we added three twice, add one twice, add seven twice, and that's not good, right? Because if I'm just going to add these up, we have three plus seven is ten. Ten plus three, uh, ten plus three is um, what is ten plus three? Thirteen. Thirteen plus one. Fourteen. Fourteen plus seven. Twenty-one. Twenty-one plus one. Twenty-two. That's all. All the elements of twenty-two are actually. Re um, that's not the answer. Right, so if we're just going to accumulate the sum up, that's actually not a good answer. So what you can do is you could actually just set the second value to be negative, so then we get rid of the sum in our final sum. So we're, what we're going to do is the second values of here, we're going to make these negative. Okay, so then when I add them, cumulative adding up all the numbers up, we have 3 plus 7 is going to be 10. Right, and then 10 plus uh, 10 minus 3 is going to give us a 7. So, is that the largest uh, sum? No, it's not. 7 plus 1 is going to give us 8. And uh, is 8 the largest sum? And also, if you go back to the problem statement, it is one of the overlapping elements in our ending array, right? So, that's actually good that we added negative 3. We made it minus 3. Is 8 the largest sum? No, it's not. So we're going to do 8 minus 1, uh, actually 8 minus 7, which gives us 1. And that's this last element here, right? This last element here. 8 minus 7 is 1. Uh, is this the largest sum? Nope. And then 1 minus 1, it gives us 0. So yeah, the gist of this code is that we just do this uh, same thing. We only keep track of the endpoints. And uh, the last the second endpoint, what we're doing is we're making those negative. So then if we make those negative, we're basically allowing uh, do the cumulative sum in the end is going to allow it to work because we're not over adding twice when we do cumulative sum in the end. Okay, so yeah, I'll show you guys the code now. So here's the code. Okay, so here I created my array, created current, the current sum, and I created the maximum sum. Maximum current is the maximum sum. I'm going to loop through all my queries, and I'm going to get my A, B, and K. These are the, at the certain location, uh, these are 0, 1, and 2, right? Because it's the first, second, and third, 0, 1, 2. 
Then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to set a at a uh, at the location a minus one, the first one to be plus or equal to k. So that's that's the first endpoint. We're going to add it by k, add it by three. That's the endpoint every time we're going to add the first endpoint. We're going to add by three. And the reason why it's a minus one is because I'm indexing from zero because I don't want to index from one. Now you could just do this at a, but then you would have to make your array n plus one, and I don't want to do that. So yeah, we have this. Now um, we need to, uh, I did this loop if b is less than n because uh, sometimes you get out of bounds. But uh, basically what it's doing is like, it's just setting this, the second endpoint to be negative, then my negative k, right? Minus three instead of, it will just be second, the second one to be negative and the second endpoint is going to be make it negative, so ne negative seven. And this final will be negative one. So that's what this this if statement does. Then I'm going to have a current sum which starts from zero, and I'm going to loop through from zero to the well, the end of my cumulative sum array, and I'm just going to add up all the sums, and then I do a maximum each time I add up. I add them up. I'm going to have store them as a maximum variable, and then I just return it. So yeah, that's the gist of this code. It got eight seed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all there is for arrays. Then we're going to move on to linked lists tomorrow. So yeah, peace.